Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If you are a first time visitor, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification icon. If you are a returning viewer and you haven't subs uh, subscribed or hit that little bell notification icon, please go ahead and do that as well. I appreciate all of you and I hope you enjoy the tips, tricks and configuration tutorials that we throw down here on the channel. This week we're going to talk about two different things. Well, actually in this video, we're going to talk about two different things. First of all, uh, get your pens out. Can I have a pen, please? My production assistant, give her a hand. She get, handed me my pen. I'm going to write it down. Sunday, March 31st, 2019 is World Backup Day. So make sure you get that on the calendar. And here's my pen, production assistant. Thank you very much. All right. So uh, Synology, they don't pay me. They have sent me gear in the past, and I've, I've tried to disclose that. If I haven't, I'm sorry, but I will make sure that I'm always disclosing that. You are going to see some gear they sent me in the next video. Since World Backup Day is this Sunday, we're just going to make this whole week about backups and about Synology specifically. And once again, they are not paying me, but they did, they did ask me to mention a couple things. So you're not going to see this until the 26th. But on the 18th through the 25th over on the Synology community, and I'll put a link down there. And I don't know, maybe they'll run uh, late submissions, not sure. But they're going to do, uh, you can go submit a story. And they've got three categories, personal home, small to medium, and enterprise. And best stories, they're going to win things. They're going to pick three winners from each section. Each winner will win a NAS and a hard drive, right? So I know this is the 26th. Go check it out. Maybe it's still open. I don't know. I, they just sent this information to me today. And today is the 25th when I'm recording this. Now, they are going to have some World Backup Day discounts. They're going to be offering discounts through their distributors to celebrate World Backup Day. The DS218J will be 20% off on World Backup Day. So that's 331 on Amazon. And as well as featured in the Newegg Mailer on 327 and 328. There's also a DS218 bundle with two 6TB Seagate Iron Wolf drives at Amazon and Newegg for the 30th, 30th and 31st. Um, and that deal is apparently already going over at B&H. So you can check that out if you go to my YouTube uh, or not my YouTube, but my Amazon links down below. You could navigate your way over uh, and and find a Synology. I'll leave a, a link to um, some Synology gear there. So now the second thing that I want to talk about is let's say that you have your NAS and you are sharing it with people and people are dropping files into the NAS. And you want to be notified that files are being dropped into the NAS. Well, it doesn't do it natively, but uh, we did some searching out on the Synology community, and there is a script that someone wrote, and I am going to um, show you the script in its entirety. And what it does is it monitors, a, you know, a, vol a, a shared folder on your volume. And then we set it to run every five minutes. If there's been changes, you get an email. If there's been no changes, then um, you're not going to get an email. Now, uh, this script can be found, like I said, on the Synology community. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave a link to it on a Google Doc down below. So we need to do uh, a couple of things here. We need to, first of all, log into our Synology. That's the first thing that we are going to do. So let's get logged in here. See if I remembered the password. I did. <clears throat> All right. We talked about notifications last time. So this time we need to come in here and we're going to set up, we're going to go to our notifications and we're going to go to this. Um, we're going to enable email notifications. Subject prefix is going to be Willy, Willy How Synology. We want the recipient email to be Willy at HowX5.com. Service provider is going to be Gmail. Now, real quick, what we're going to do is we're going to hop over 
to Gmail and we are going to open a new account specifically for this. All right, so we're over here at Gmail and we're going to go ahead and we're going to sign up and I'm just going to call it uh, Willie Howe. This is going to be Willie Howe's Synology at gmail.com. I'm going to put a just a simple password in here. And we'll go to next. Now, I'm not going to put a phone number um, in there at the moment. Recovery email address is also, also optional. So I will uh, put my birthday in here and my gender. Next, we got terms and conditions. Of course, we read them all. We're going to go ahead and agree. <clears throat> so now we're waiting and Google is creating our account. And we are now signed in and we'll just uh, use the default and everything. So we are now we are now signed in. So we're going to hop back over to and you know what we're actually going to do um, Willie Howe's Synology at gmail.com. We'll just send emails um, from ourselves to ourselves during this exercise. So this is going to be Willie Howe's Synology at gmail.com. Then I got to put in my super secret password. And it's going to say, you know, this will allow Synology mail notification to, to send, to act as me, to send email. So I'm going to go ahead and allow that. Some people get real sketched out by this. Um, I'm not going to say that it doesn't bother me, but I'm doing it for demonstration. And I know there's a lot of people out there doing it. All right. So now we're going to send a test email. A test email has been sent. If you do not receive it, then there's something going on. And here we go. So, dear user, congratulations. So now you can see email notifications are now set up um, for our account here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to trash all these so there's nothing sitting in there. We're going to come back over to the Synology. Now we're going to go over to the task scheduler and we are actually going to create a scheduled task and it's going to be a user defined script now I have and like I said I'm going to leave a link to it but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to control a this and I'm going to open a notepad here and paste it in now this is the script now there's a, a few things that we need to that we need to change here. Now the first one is here. So who's getting the email, right? So I'm going to change this to Willie Howes Synology at gmail.com. And I'm also going to use this for the admin and the from email. If you have different email addresses, you should use those accordingly. Okay, so this is the first part. Now the second part is this explore folder right here is we need to have the full path. So if you've got one volume and you're using default settings, this volume one is gonna stay the way it is. If you've created another volume, then your shared folder could be under a different volume. So let's go over to the Synology and create a shared folder. Let's see, we're going to go to control panel. Oh, it's not going to let us do this. So we'll close this real quick. Go to control panel. Go to shared folder. And I'm going to call this, uh, I'm going to create a shared folder called um, clients. And I'm actually going to do it all lowercase. Got to remember that under the hood, this thing runs uh, Linux. And I'm not going to encrypt it. And I'm just I'm just need to get through here and do a a uh, basic shared folder. So there's the the clients folder. So I'm going to bring this back up and I'm going to put in clients because the full path 
to that is now volume one slash clients. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select all. So you can press control A and we do a control C. We'll go back over here. Now we're going to go over here to our notification. Or I'm sorry, not notification, task scheduler. We're going to go to create, going to be scheduled task, user defined script. We're going to call this uh, notify on file upload. User is root, that's fine. Schedule is it's going to uh, run every, you could do every minute, you could do every five minutes, and we want it to run daily. Then we're going to come over here and we are going to paste in our script. And we're going to hit OK there. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on that and we're going to hit run. And we're going to say yes. Now there shouldn't be anything in the folder. So we'll see here. Doesn't look like I got anything here yet. And we'll go to file station. Now I'm going to upload a file <coughs> to the clients folder. Okay, so we've added our screenshot here. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at, we're going to bring the task up real quick. We're going to go to schedule. It's going to run every minute. And we're going to click OK there. Let's see when this when the next run time is. It says midnight. We're going to go ahead and run it. We'll hop over here. And now we have an email. And it shows the NAS folder clients has been modified. One file added. Shows the screenshot file that we added right there. So I'm notified. Um, if I come back over here and I create a folder. Now you got to remember this is running every minute. So it's, it's looking at that every minute. So I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to delete the screenshot. Okay, so um, the task did run again. And you can see that I added a folder called test. I deleted this file. Um, and then previously this had been added, but you can see it keeps track, gives you this nice little notification of all the files are, that are changed, uh, deleted, so add, deleted, and I thought that was really, really nice. Um, so don't forget uh, to go check out all the Synology things that are happening, all the discounts they're offering, and don't forget that Sunday is World Backup Day, so we've got another video coming on Thursday that I think you're going to be very interested in when it comes to Synology. A lot of people have been asking for it, and so I reached out to my contact over at Synology, and he said, why not? And, um, you know, they ship the gear, so you're going to get to see it. And it is going to be fantastic. I can't wait. We're going to run it, and we're, it's actually going to be our foundation. I know you want to know what it is, but I'm not going to tell you what it is until then. But we're going to build this foundation, and we're going to keep doing all these other videos off of it. So that is coming soon. So I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form and someone will contact you as soon as possible. If we can not help you, we will get you to someone who can. If you want to talk to us on Discord, the link is down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks, that link is down below. And as always, our Amazon affiliate links for all the gear we use here on the channel. It doesn't change your price, but it does kick a couple bucks over here to keep things rolling in. Once again, I appreciate each and every one of you, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.